Have you ever encountered those mathematical statements that obviously write in the textbook, but the author told you? Well, we leave the formal proof for the reader as an exercise. Then probably you would like to rip the author apart and question about why the proof is needed for such an obvious fact. Huh. <laughs> Welcome to the world of pure mathematics, where proofs occupy the majority of the realm. As a noob in mathematics, I want to share how I not only handle these situations but actually enjoy the process. Here is a very simple example to illustrate that. Without further ado, let's begin. Let x be an element of a monoid G. For every integer n that is greater than or equal to 0, we define x to the power of n to be the following. So that x to the power of 0 equals the unit element, x to the power of 1 equals x, x to the power of 2 equals x product x, etc. If you are unfamiliar with what is monoid, you can check out my first algebra video for the definition. Given that G is also commutative, if X and Y are elements of G, prove that X product Y to the power of N equals X to the power of N product Y to the power of N. If you still remember your high school mathematics, this is a no-brainer. However, as a mathematics tutor and teacher for almost four years, I've seen a lot of students paralyzed while handling these type of operations. So although it seems stupidly obvious for those who are good at mathematics in high school, it's worth proving it with only the associativity and commutativity properties. Consider the left hand side, we can write down the following expression with n number of xy. Since I already proved in the first algebra video that parentheses can be inserted in any manner in the product, I can insert a square parentheses for the first two xy's. Then, because of associativity, it equivalents to this with n minus 2 number of xy's at the end. Next, consider this part. According to commutativity, we can write it in this way. Apply the associativity again, we get y product y, which is y to the power of 2. Apply the commutativity again for y to the power of 2 product x to flip their positions, then use associativity to put these two x's together, thus, we obtain x to the power of 2 product y to the power of 2. Similarly, I can insert a square parenthesis to include x to the power of 2 product y to the power of 2 and the first xy, then repeat the steps above. We will get x to the power of 3 product y to the power of 3 with n minus 3 number of xy's follow. Then repeat the same step n minus 3 number of times. We will get x to the power of n product y to the power of n. End of proof. Although this is a very simple proof to show something that is obvious for most of the people who pay attention in their high school mathematics class, I think it's still valuable to make a video for it, since it's only because of the validity of these type of operations that more complex mathematics can be built on top of it. Plus, I really enjoy watching the answer comes out from rigorous step-by-step -step alterations. It's just like watching those satisfying videos. Anyways, I hope this video is helpful. That's it for this time. See you in the next one.